Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In the last video, we refurbished my AYC pump using an Evolution Hydraulics Rebuild Kit. In today's video, we're going to be testing that AYC pump to make sure it works before we fit it to my Evo. In the last video, I used the Evolution Hydraulics Rebuild Kit. Well, I've actually got in touch with them again and I've made an order with them because there was something else on their website that I thought would be really useful to me, you know, a DIY Evo enthusiast. Um, and that is basically the contents of this box. Um, it's uh, an AYC ACD pump bleed box and also um, pressure test kit as well. So we can actually test it before it goes on the car. And when it is on the car, we can um, actually install it and bleed it ourselves. Now, if it wasn't for this box, what would we have to do to actually install this pump and bleed it? Well, we'd have to um, install it, leave it unplugged. Then we'd have to go to the Mitsubishi garage, the Mitsubishi dealer that can actually work on the Evo. And we'd have to plug it in and pay them to bleed it. Uh, I think the fee for that at the dealer is over £100 in labour alone. Plus you have to buy the fluid, which is probably about the same again, if you buy it through a Mitsubishi dealer. And uh, from the stories I've heard, I don't think even Mitsubishi dealers are very good at working on these cars. Um, so you're probably best doing it yourself if you can. But this pump kit here, they retail for £135. Um, and what, you can, what you'll actually get in here is a box which will allow you to bleed the pump. A pressure test kit which will allow you to test the pump. And I thought, you know, you can perhaps go to a specialist and pay £70 to £100. Um, but if you buy that box, you've got it for life. So how about we take a little closer look at the kit and then we'll start actually using the test feature on it to pressure test the pump that I've just rebuilt. So you might notice this engine in the background. It's actually an Evo 10 block. Um, I wasn't planning on going into this too much today. Um, I'll save it for a future video. But um, it's a highly modified Evo 10 block with Cosworth internals. So it should be able to handle big power in the future. Um, it has, ha it has been running about 700 horsepower actually before I bought it. So anyway, that's a little sneaky peek of the block. If you're wondering what it is, let's uh, have a look what's in this Evolution Hydraulics Bleed Box and Pressure Test Kit. I've already opened it, but it was extremely well packaged. Um, there's the instructions showing how to actually bleed and test your pump. So you put them to one side. And uh, this actually arrived the day after I ordered it. So really good service. Give you have the different uh, switches and whatever to obviously bleed the system. And in here we have a variety of um, fittings. And look at the attention to detail that goes into this kit. Evo 10 sensor adapter. Outlet blanks. Evo 10 ACD adapter, Evo X power adapter, wiring stickers, you know, um, it's quite impressed really how much effort's got into this kit. Now then, I did speak to Evolution Hydraulics to ask if they had any advice when using this kit and they just said to read the instructions very carefully um, and it's probably a good thing if you was to do the same if you were watching this video um, I noticed they got a certain amount of times that you're allowed to leave the motor on and a certain amount of times that you're allowed to activate the solenoids you know like 15 seconds for the solenoids something like that fit the pressure sensor adapter attach the braided line And now the pressure gauge. There we go. So that's fitted and tightened up. Fit the three times blanking plugs to pump outlet port. So use the outlet blankings labeled nicely in the bag.
Okay, so it says we have to wire it up as shown in the um, cards. So um, they provide you with um, some wiring stickers. And I think that it's like different different ways of doing it for different um, procedures really. So there's some adapters. We have the motor power connected. Now for the instructions, I think that that's literally all we have to do and then put fluid in it. Here we have a big fully charged beefy battery. We're gonna connect the bleed box up to that. Hopefully, when I flick the switch, something's going to happen. So I thought that my pump hadn't um, wasn't working basically, and my rebuild attempt had been unsuccessful. Uh, turns out that this does actually need quite a lot of time to um, let the fluid through due to a built-in filter. So that's something to bear in mind. I don't want to leave the motor running all the time because it does say in the instructions. You can potentially burn this box out if you just put too much current through it for long periods of time. Now the instructions also say that if it holds 7 bar of pressure when you've turned it off, then it works. So it's holding 7, but it says we, we it should reach 15 when on. So it hasn't actually reached 15 bar yet. Um, and like I said, I can see air coming through and I'm hoping that's got something to do with it. So as you saw, uh, we've just got a successful pressure test on the pump. Using the Dextron 3 fluid is essential to get an accurate pressure test. Um, you know, I'm not the type of person to cheap out on my car. Um, I have got expensive Titan fluid for the AYC when it goes into the car. But just for the sake of testing the pump, I thought I don't really want to go wasting 20 pound a litre fluid on a test. You know, I've used three litres in this test, trying to bleed in stuff. Um, so it would have been 60 quid potentially wasted. But you, you do have to at least use Dextron 3 fluid, because I was just using generic power steering fluid. Um, and obviously the viscosity will not be what it should be. And it will give you a different, a different pressure gauge reading, really. Because if it's um, thinner fluid, it will slip through that gap, that small clearance between the plate and the pump, which is effectively what we're testing for, um, it will slip through that easier and it will give a lower pressure reading. So that's the only thing I've really got to say um, with regards to this test. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.